What's up guys? Welcome back to the third episode of Terrier Owner. The most recent findings that I've seen on terrierowner.com is that the the post with the most traffic to the entire blog right now is how long you can leave a Jack Russell Terrier home alone for. I know that's pretty crazy that that is the highest traffic post, meaning the most people search that information on the website every single day. So today I wanted to go over that information with you because it seems like a hot topic that people want help with. So stick around for just a minute here and I will cover everything you need to know about adopting a Jack Russell and then what happens when you start leaving them alone. We'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. Like I said, we are going to cover how long you can leave a Jack Russell Terrier home alone today. It does make a difference on why you're leaving them alone. Maybe you need to go to work. Maybe you need to just go get a few groceries. Maybe you are going to be leaving on vacation. Or maybe you just want to know how many drinks you can go have with your friends and not have to worry about these guys the next morning for a few hours later. Whatever the case may be, Real quick before we dive into it, like this video, helps a ton. Subscribe if you want to get more helpful, helpful videos like this. And be sure to hit that notification bell down at the bottom so you get notified whenever I put out new content. All right, guys, let's start diving into this. Let's start diving into what you need to know if you plan on leaving your Jack Russell home alone. What you can expect, um, the separ separation anxiety issues that these dogs sometimes have and kind of what you need to do to get prepared. I know what you're thinking. You're probably wondering why I'm shooting this video right now in my garage. Well, here's the deal with that. It's about 3.30 in the morning right now, and I wanted to shoot it out back, but it's still dark out. So instead of trying to set up some fancy lights, we're shooting this video here kind of on the spot and making it in the garage today. So tip number one that I have for you, if you want to leave these guys home by themselves, is you got to start with crate training and you need to start when they're a puppy. I'm talking right away. Day one when you get home from the breeder, the rescue, whatever the case may be, it's time to start getting them in a crate. I will put the crates that I recommend down in the description below. Um, when they're little, they can have a smaller crate so that they do not um, use the restroom inside of the, the crate. The smaller it is, the less likely they are to do any kind of number one or number two inside of it because they don't want to lay in it. But you do need to start that immediately. The second thing that you guys need to realize is that these Jack Russells, they do experience some separation anxiety. I don't know if that is 100% common with all of them or it's a case by case basis, but she definitely did. She would howl, bark, scream in the middle of the night. You just have to deal with it. Don't let it get to you. Shut a door, put some earplugs in when you're sleeping. Put them in a different room, do whatever you got to do, but don't let them control or dictate how the crate training is going to go. Because the second, the second that you start giving in and letting them out and responding to those cries, they win. It's game over. It's setting the tone early that they make a few noises, demand their way. You lose, and now they've got you by the neck. There ain't much you can do once they start getting that kind of attitude in them. So you gotta rough it out. Um, there's tons of tricks that you can do with this. Some people will just play YouTube in the background. There's like dog soothing, separation anxiety music. There's <clears throat> some people will use televisions to have a little background noise for them so that they feel like somebody's in the room. Whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter how you do it. You just have to do it. Um, without doing that, you're gonna run into issues and it's just, it's something that if you can get it out of the way early, you're going to be in way better shape. 
My second tip I have for you guys is never do what you see right here on the floor of my garage inside your house when you're not putting them in a crate. This is just shoes out and about. My kids play gloves down here. I mean, she can jump like 30 feet. I'm joking. It's, it's probably like three or four feet, but it's pretty high. But she could probably tear up my boat if she wanted to. Don't leave stuff out that they're gonna find. Uh, there you go. There's an example right there of her jumping, doing something crazy. That chair is up on that top of that couch sectional piece because of my boat, not because I'm scared she's gonna eat every piece of it. But make sure that things are out of the way and whatever they do have access to, it's stuff you want them to have access to. So that can be, <laughs> she's gone under the boat now. She's like, I'm done with this video, guys. Let's see if she can come back out here. So that can be chew toys, um, it, it can be just balls, like tennis balls, um, bones that take a while to chew. Whatever the case may be, make sure it's something that you want them to have. I'm trying to stay in the light here. I'm not used to using my garage, so I apologize. But they need to have something just to keep them occupied. It's not a bad idea to put something in there with them inside of the crate as well. Just give them something to do that keeps them not barking, not howling, and not mad at you for throwing them in there. All right guys, tip number three is when you leave these guys home alone, it completely depends on their age with what they are capable of doing and what they can handle mentally. When they're a puppy, like I said a minute or two ago, that's when you're gonna get the howling, the barking. I mean, she was chewing at the grates. She was like one of the Velociraptors on the first Jurassic Park inside of her crate whenever she was a puppy. She hated it. Um, I suffered through it. Wife told me to let her out. I let the wife out instead so that I didn't have to raise a dog that ran my life. But <laughs> um, you have to take their age into consideration whenever you're leaving them home. So let's say that you want to run to the grocery store and they're a puppy. Just put them in the crate. Let them cry. Let them do their thing. If they do use the restroom inside of it, send the messages through training on what they did wrong. Let them outside correct that behavior. As they get older, it gets much better. So she's about 18 months now, and I can leave her home alone in a crate, safely, no issues with pottying, anything like that, about six hours if it's midday, because um, you need to get back and you need to feed them most of the time. I feed her twice a day. So she'll eat in the morning, like this morning, we went on a walk at about 3 a.m., busy day today. I'm usually not up this early, but 3 a.m. she'll eat again late this afternoon so if I had to leave you know late morning to the early afternoon that would be fine she'll be fine in that crate I still will not leave her home alone out of the crate for probably more than three hours is pushing it and that doesn't mean that they're bad dogs but <laughs> they just get bored um, they want the attention as you can see she can barely handle me making this video without jumping up here on me, but they get bored. A chew bone's only gonna last so long, so unless you give them like four before you leave, which if you don't do that, it's a horrible suggestion, because what they'll do is they'll take three of them and they'll bury them in couch cushions or they'll bury them underneath things. They're like, they act like these bones are part of a secret treasure hunt. Don't do that, just give them one good one. But once they're done and their attention span is done with that one toy or that one bone, they're going to find something else to do. They're not just going to go take a peaceful nap while you're out, you know, at happy hour with your friends. It doesn't work like that. But it does get better. You can start leaving them, especially like when she goes to sleep, she doesn't have to go in that crate anymore. I can trust her to make it, you know, from 9 to 5 a.m. without having an issue. When she was like 6 to 8 months old, every now and then you'd still have some pee issues because, I mean, these are tiny little dogs. I mean, they get up about 10, 15 pounds. Tiny dogs equals tiny bladder. Um, but they don't drink or eat like tiny dogs. So that it moves right through them. You gotta keep that in mind. So let's try and sum this up. Puppies, crate them. Don't take the chance. Don't ruin your house. Don't ruin your boat and your garage. A little bit older, 12 to 18 months old. A little bit sooner than that, maybe 10 months. Um, trust them while you're out running errands in the house, give them a little freedom, start small, you know, go on a walk around the block, come back and see if they've chewed up the electrical in the house. Another joke, of course, they're not going to ruin your entire house. And then as they continue to get older, it gets better. An elderly Jack Russell, I don't really know. 
Um, I do own a yellow lab who's starting to get into that age bracket. One of the last things I want to point out too about leaving these guys alone or really just even going about your day without having to be around them or really pay attention to them based on behavior is these guys need that exercise. Give it to them somehow. If you haven't watched my video about getting these guys on walks and how to do it, I'll put the link to the description below. I'll also put the my blog post on terrierowner.com in the description below that talks about the needs that these guys have for exercise. Whether that's swimming, bicycling, rollerblading, going on walks, playing fetch, swimming. They just need something and they behave so much better when you give them that exercise. It, it's night and day difference. Like her without a walk in the morning, the rest of the morning, it's like the Tasmanian devil. She doesn't hurt anything. She's just all over the place. She has to burn off that energy. I take her for about a mile, two mile walk. It doesn't have to be that long guys. It can be quarter mile, whatever you want to do, go around the block. I do that. She'll come home. She'll just kind of lay around. She'll stare at the TV. She's kind of weird. She barks at animals on the TV like they're actually in the living room. I mean, these are hunting dogs, so maybe that's part of it. I don't really know. Um, but the exercise makes a huge difference. So if you're going to leave them home alone, wear them out a little bit before you go. Throw a ball seven times in your backyard. It'll take you three minutes with how fast these guys are to get them back. Um, I, I have friends that just don't do anything with their dogs that are young and then they wonder why, you know, they're buying a new pair of shoes and hats for themselves every three weeks because their dogs ingested them. I mean, you have to, you shouldn't get one of these guys if you don't want to interact with them, even if it's for a few minutes a day. I mean, that's all they need um, to be satisfied and it gets better with the more attention that you give them in that exercise fashion. So make sure you do that. And then leaving them home alone is fine at that point. And then lastly, like I said in the beginning of the video, the crate training is critical. Having the correct toys is huge for these guys to chew. Make sure that you guys just bite the bullet and uh, purchase what you need for these guys to make it work. I will put the links down below for all of the gear that I use for her, whether that's toys, the crate that I recommend when they're puppies in case you just adopted one here recently. That'll all be in the description below. And then lastly, guys, we appreciate you stopping by. Um, we release videos every Thursday and Monday on this channel. It's all terrier related, mostly Jack Russell. Um, some other terrier related videos, whether it's training, disciplining, um, exercising these guys, just funny videos, whatever the case may be, you can count on two of those a week. Please make sure to like if you enjoyed this video, it helps a ton. Subscribe and hit that notification button. And then check out the related blog post for this video about leaving these guys alone. It's already a, a very popular post. That's the, the whole entire reason I'm making this video is because there's like something crazy about this post. Like 75 people a day go into it. Um, so I figured that if they want to read it, I'm sure that somebody might want to watch a quick video on it. So I hope this helped you guys. We appreciate you. Luna says bye. And we will catch you on the next video. Thanks again. Say bye. Say bye.